Hey everyone, I'm bringing you the AWS cost savings new series that I'm working on around creating a new AWS account and some of the things that I think you should set up immediately before deploying out any resources. In the first video, we talked about an enabling multi-factor. Why do we even talk about it? Well, guess what? You just got access to an AWS account. Turn it on. Yes, we're talking about security, but if they deploy a lot of resources in there, it's going to cost you a lot of money. Next, we set up the cur file, which is the cost and usage report. We enabled it for Athena, and while I wait for the report to run, before we can figure out and set it up so we can do some queries on our account, we're going to talk about enabling the cost explorer and setting up those budget alerts. Let's head on over to our console and enable our cost explorer. Within our console, I'm over on the billing dashboard. Within the billing dashboard, I have this nice little button that says, hey, do you want to enable these reports? Yes, let's enable the reports. Well, they can take up to 24 hours to populate for your AWS account. Great, I'm setting up some other things, so I might as well enable these as well. Analyze your cost and usage using the AWS Cost Explorer. Turn on the Cost Explorer. Welcome. Since this is, we'll take some time to prepare and be back in 24 hours. Well, guess what? It's as easy as that. Quick and simple. Now let's set up those budget alerts. On the left hand side, we're going to come over to budgets. Within our budget, we'll create one. I will create just utilizing the template. If you're new to AWS and you're not sure what all these others are accountable for, don't worry about it. I'm not going to explain each one, but you want to understand how quickly this is to set up. You can use the template just to get you set up or there's some advanced settings. I'll use the template. There are some new templates available to you, a zero spend budget, a monthly and a daily savings plan. For me, I'm going to set the monthly cost because I don't want to go over, say, $50 a month. This is a test account that I'm utilizing and I don't want to spend too much money for these. We'll come down. Now this says $100. Yeah, I'm a little cheap. I'm going to the 50 part. All right, so this will be my monthly cost for Meyer Media. All right, all the AWS services are in this scope. Now you can narrow it down to specific AWS services that you don't want to go over and utilize, whether you're using AIML, EC2 instances, maybe you're using Amazon S3, but you can set it for specific services. All right, to change any of these, you can download it and then upload the JSON for the configuration. Actually, that's really cool. I didn't know it was possible. Let's click on this and we're downloading it. Okay, I wonder what this... I gotta open this and see what this is. Monthly budget, 50 US label. Oh, I like that, pretty cool. All right, so we'll minimize it. We'll create our budget. Oh. Forgot my email address. Creating our budget. Now there we go. We set up our monthly budget of $50. There's a threshold of 85%. If you're at 85% of $50, they will alert you that says, hey, listen, you're closing in on your amount. Depending on what time of the month that you are running some of the resources, whether it's a couple days to go, and you realize that you won't go over that, nothing you do, but this will give you a heads up before you reach the max capacity of what you're trying to get for your AWS account. $50 is really small, but for those who are paying for themselves, that's a lot. Now, I hope you like this AWS new cost series I'm working on with my new account. In the next few, I might be setting up Athena, might be configuring organizations. I'm not sure yet, but you will note that this is all happening before I deploy out an AWS resource within my account organizations next that might be a good thing i don't know stay tuned